What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? We're dying. What? So we better knock out these bucket list games. We're <laughs> not really okay. dying. You had me worried there. But, <laughs> fellow content creator, Samantha Azura poised a very interesting I topic. She, she poisoned us. <laughs> of what are some of your bucket list games? Well, easily enough, I don't make the time I need to to play all the games that we have. But we did select a few games. Yes, we did. These are games that, uh, for one reason or another, we've not yet played. Shame us all you want, but we really, really want to. All right, boys, let's make it happen. I'm going to kick this off with a PS1 game, uh -huh. Alundra. Everything about this game always screamed Legend of Zelda. It really felt like this was Sony or PS1's answer to Zelda. When you look at like the graphics, the way the game plays, it's got that similar top-down isometric view. Even the hero, he could pass as like a dollar store well, version. Especially of after Blade. Tears of the Kingdom came out and he had the ponytail. That is very true. I've had this game for ages and have just never sat down to dedicate the time to it. So it's it's right there on my bucket list. My first one, I have played. I just haven't finished it. <laughs> I was so excited right after you got done playing it and beat it. I jumped right into it and played it all the way up into beating Ganon. And I literally, that's all I have to do. But I wanted to go around and get some more Korok seeds because I didn't have all of the shields. And then other games came out and um, I just haven't gone back to it. I feel like that's the biggest issue we have is other we games. just get distracted by yeah. other games. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the problem is, is there's so many good games I'm playing right now, it's really hard to go back to this. <laughs> but what, what is it, like 10, 15 minutes worth or something? Probably. If that. It wouldn't take you long. <laughs> I love the Dragon Quest series. And this, Dragon Quest Swords, is a fantastic, so I hear, entry in it that does utilize motion control. So you slash, you parry, you blast your way through a land filled with an array of unique monsters. And I would love to play that. And I never have. I know I'm going to look like a jackass there, swinging that <laughs> remote around, probably breaking Just something. Make sure you have the wrist strap on. It looks like graphically it would hold up really and well. You love swords. Yeah, so, I mean, I think it'd be fun. A friend of mine actually did play some of it and I think he said you had to do something to like power it up. And he goes, I did that a few times and started to feel weird. <laughs> and I said, it always feels weird the first time, but then, no, I... You just have to relax and take it. <laughs> so, someday, <laughs> Dragon Quest Swords, you're on my bucket list. For me, the majority of my bucket list is things I want him to play. Because even though I do enjoy video games, I love to play video games, I like to watch them more because I'm a TV show and movie kind of girl. The movie or games is that like interactive TV show for me. So ignore the fact that it's Resident Evil 2. It's the series. I want the entire Resident Evil series so that I can get through it and experience it like everyone else because I love horror and video games. And that's what this is. That's what this is. To be fair, I actually tried to play yes. Resident Evil. The first one. The remake on Ugh. GameCube. And I just, I couldn't get into it. Now, I never I, really yeah. played the first one. You weren't even enjoying it, so. No, because it's just so, the problem is it was taking so long to get to things that I would forget what the story was going, was doing. It's one of those things I told him, I said, what we need to do is just, what, and you'll kill me for this, nerdlings, I don't care. This is a bucket list game anyway. Just watch a playthrough online of the first one. Get past that one so we can move on to the rest of them. Question is, and we posed this to a couple of our retro refresh guys, mm -hmm. when it comes time to play two, should we go for the original, one of the remakes, or the most recent remake? Because it did change up a few story elements, I've heard, but a lot of people sang praise for it. So should we just jump right into that? Well, another game that I would love to play through someday is Futurama on PS2. One of the many times that the show was canceled, this was kind of considered an additional episode. The game is stupid, stupid expensive here in America. But fortunately, it's not so bad in PAL regions, which is what I have here. And thanks to Sega Head, I do have a copy of it to play. I love the Futurama series. I really want to play this and see what I was missing out on. And he went through so much trouble to get it for me. 
I want to tell him he's annoying the piss out of me. And by trouble, I mean he probably like sat in his comfy chair and bought it online <laughs> and waited for it to show up and then had to put it in a box to send to me. But that's a lot of trouble for him. You know you're being a pain in the ass. And we all know that they can't more go more than five miles. That's too far away. <laughs> I'm going to play that game someday. It's on my bucket list. I have another bucket list for Tom to play for me. I want to see The Witcher 3. I definitely want to play this game before we watch the series. Oh, So we geez. can be familiar with it. If I start this game, I don't think I'll ever finish. Oh, pish posh. But again, this is what I want him to play for me to watch. I will be dead by the time I'm finished. Well, then I guess we'll start with this one first, before your other game. I'm surprised you haven't just made us watch the show anyway, because Henry Cavill, like, half-naked most of the time. Any of the pictures I see for the show, unless that's all you perverts like to share about the show. I, I gotta yeah, go. Wrong. I gotta go. I'm like a greased pig right now. A sexy greased pig. <laughs> Night Trap. To be fair, this would probably be on my list, too. <laughs> I've never played any iteration of Night Trap. This right here is the Nintendo Switch version, and we had to have this because, insert that clip right here. <laughs> I love that clip. And let me say that for the record, I want to state that Night Trap will never appear on a Nintendo system. We were having fun picking this up on as many We have, instances yeah. That we We've could. been finding it on like any system we could. We inadvertently started collecting it on any platform we could find it on. I really want to make sure I play the Nintendo Switch yes. version because I just feel like it's really sticking it to them since it was never it to going to be on a Nintendo system. So it's like, that's where I've got to play it. So Night Trap. I'm going to stay up all night long, fall into a trap with a bucket because it's my bucket. Okay, okay. <laughs> Pirates are attacking! Next, this is another series of games. I want to not be upside down. <laughs> so this next one, again, is for him to play, for me, and it's the entire series. I am very interested in the Silent Hill series. So it's another one of those wonderful horror games that I feel like I'm missing out being a huge horror fan. You know, I've watched all the good horror classics, so it's, I feel like this is another one of those horror classic games that you need to play for me. I loved the original Silent Hill. I'm not the biggest fan of PS1 games as is, but even that game, I adored it so much. I got every single ending on it. The alien one? Yeah. Oh, and mm -hmm. I love the ending. That song is great. Too bad YouTube <laughs> won't let me share it with you. <laughs> Silent Hill. Silent. I do know that there is a sort of port, a remake of this. So again, the question we pose to you is, should we play the absolute OG original on PS1 or jump into that remake version? Because is this I'm one of those sure we have it. weird ones where the mouths don't move but they talk? Or is that just sort Metal Gear? Sort <laughs> of. I, I, think, I think it is. Gosh, I played through it enough times you would think I would remember. <laughs> Silent. Silent. Well, for my last bucket list Did you pick a series game two? item, kind of. So what I have here are three carts that are hacks for Chrono Trigger. Of course, I love my Chrono Trigger, mm -hmm. and I've known about a couple of these hacks for quite a while. Crimson Echoes and Flames of Eternity. The third one here is Prophet's Guile. The first two I knew of online, mm -hmm. but I never used an emulator to play through them. I had the chance to pick up copies of the games on cartridge. I think it would be a lot of fun to sit down and play through them and essentially get a new to me Chrono Trigger experience. I don't know if any of them are actually any good though. So hopefully I don't spend a bunch of time playing a hack of a game that's <laughs> meh at meh. best. <laughs> The last game is actually one I actually do want to play. And surprisingly, we didn't have this game, which we <laughs> thought we did. And the funny thing is we've come across it so many times at flea markets and stuff, but because we thought we had it, we ignored it. But apparently all I really bought 
which I knew they the game didn't come with these. I had bought the special controllers to go for Epic Mickey and didn't realize that we didn't buy the game to go with it, to be able to play it. This is definitely a game I've always, always wanted to play. And then when they announced that they're coming out with, it's a, it's a remake, right? Or a re, like, or is it just a making it look prettier? I'm not sure. But anyway, it's coming out on the Switch. So I have to figure out, is it a remake or reboot? What is it? I don't know if I want to play the Wii version or the new Switch version. If it's not going to be different at all, then I definitely want to play the Switch version. Ooh, good call. Yeah, another question of if it is just a remake port, uh -huh. go for the new one or track down the originals. It is hilarious. As we were searching these games out, we couldn't believe we didn't have the game. We were like... Yeah. We, how many times have we passed that over? So as many she times, because I'm thinking, you know, oh yeah, we have that game. I really need to play it. Every time I see it, I go, I really need to play that game. It's really cool that we have the special controllers for it. And I think that it just lived in our brain because of having the controllers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew that the game wasn't in the box, but it is like a lot of times when they would package the game with the box, it's the same shape and everything. So Let's comment on how cool these controllers are. The brush, it says that it lights up. It also works with the Wii U, mm -hmm. as does yours. As does the kicker. What's the point of a <laughs> clicker if it doesn't click? click. <laughs> Nerdlings, leave some comments down below what you think of any of our bucket list games. Maybe there's something in particular that we really need to work on. Uh, should we play OG versions of some games versus the ports? And more importantly, let us know some of your bucket lists, especially if you would like to do a video response. We would love to see that. And if you do, leave a comment letting us know to come watch your video. I will say, speaking back to the OG versus remakes or whatever, keep in mind, I don't care about original hardware or stuff like that. I don't need the OG. I'm more interested in story and the way it looks and will I be interested in it. So that's that's something also to keep in mind if you're recommending. So it doesn't have to look pretty as long as it's got a good personality. That's how she landed me, guys. <laughs> no, I said it does have to be pretty. Oh, wait. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Cloud talking to Cloud? Mm hmm Cloud having a conversation with himself in there? Probably. He's like, I like your coat, man. Picky. Thanks. <laughs> I like your big ass sword. He's like, look, I'm just saying because there's two of us and there's... Aerith and Tifa, like, don't have to choose, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. <laughs> Ready to go? Sure, we've done them before, but have we done it as each other? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Whoops. Good job. <laughs> that trimboo went fast. Where'd that go? I don't know. Maybe we'll support you some more. <laughs>